Welcome to Homework Answers. We're going through the textbook Programming Logic and Design 8th edition by Joyce Farrell. And in this video, we're covering chapter 3, exercise 1. In this problem, we're asked to reference um, a, a flowchart model they have in the book. I'm kind of hazy on which page, but I know it's model 3-9 or 3-10. And they have a process, and they have an example of a process in, in there, and we're going to replace everything in these you know shapes with a process that we're familiar with so I chose having a drink after five and um, you can see it's pretty simple you keep the same structure as the model they have in the book but you're gonna switch out everything so I'm asking is it five if yes then it's time for a drink if no the program just ends um, and so it's suggesting it's time for a drink and then I say you know are you gonna have one if not, we tally, tally the, the drinks, and obviously off the start, that would be zero. Um, if yes, then we go into a loop that, uh, well, this right here is a loop. Are you going to have a drink? And so yes would enter that loop. Um, and then it's going to ask, it should be asking right here, this might make more sense if, if it says, are you going to have beer? Otherwise, we're assuming you're having wine. So yes and then you grab a beer, or no, then you get a glass of wine. It goes back around, asks again, and if no, you tally the drinks, how many you've had, and you exit the program. So that's basically what my uh, flow chart looks like. And I've done some other work over here, coded it out, and have some examples of models here. But this is the, the generic structure they have. If condition one is true, then step A, while loop is inside of this if you know part so while condition 2 is true and then we have an if else inside of that while loop so if condition 3 is true step B else step C end if and then end while if condition 2 is false and then after the while loop we have step D and then end if and step D is probably going to be it's I think yeah I've got it here as just outputs so this is the example I've got that applies to the flowchart. So it's if it is 5 p.m., then we're assigning time to true. Right now, in the declaring the variables area, I've got it assigned to false. Just in case we say it's not 5 p.m., then this output will not run, and this will. So 5 p.m. will be here soon. So that's why I've got it assigned to false in the variables area. And then right here, now I'm changing it to true because we're saying it is after five. So now we're going to go and check this. While um, you do want to have a drink. So that that's what this question is going to be. Deci the, this decision right here is, are you going to have a drink? And as long as you say yes, we're going to ask if you're having a beer or you're having a glass of wine. And then we output the how many we've had of each, and that's step D. And then we end if. So that's kind of like how the pseudocode layout will look like. And you might have like start and stop here underneath, but that might not be necessary. It's up to you. Um, I've coded it out here so we can see what the program would look like if you did that. We'll start at the top here. So you can see the uh, variables I've got here, a string for the decision. That's where I'm going to either enter yes or no or B for beer or W for wine. Then I've got a Boolean variable here, time. I've assigned it to false. And I've got beer and wine. So we can tally up how much of each we have. Um, next, I've got this asking if it's five. And I've also got this while loop here. Um, don't confuse these with the conditions we've got here. This is just to make sure that we enter something that is valid. I don't want people to enter like an R or a 3 or you know something weird that has nothing to do with the program so it's going to tell you that you need to enter something that's valid. That's what this right here is for, um, this right here, and this right here, and this also. So there's four places where I'm checking to make sure you're entering something valid but let's go ahead and see right here if you do enter a Y, that's our if condition, our condition one, and you can see it down here. 
that's true, then we're assigning time to true. That's step A. And so then when you have while condition 2 is true, while this is true, it's not equal to no, then we're going to ask, um, are you having beer or wine? You know, and then it's a little bit different here because you know, it doesn't quite match up, but it's it's close enough. So that's the area we're in now with the code. Um, we're either going to enter a B or a W, and it's going to uh, tally for beer if you enter a B, and that's step B and step C, or you know, tally for wine. And you can see that down here. Um, next, we're going to also ask again, you know, are you going to have another drink? Because we want to have a way to exit this loop. Um, end, well, in the program. And um, there we have our end while and our outputs. This is step D. And you can see that if time is equal to true, this output will happen. And if it's not, then this output will happen. So that's, that's kind of what this problem is going to look like. You're only going to really do this part, I believe, but this is for, you know, extra insight to what's happening here. Um, so that's basically it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.